up, cuties? So welcome to our another episode of the uh, like K-pop closet. And if you guys watched one of our DTVs from last month where we visited the SM Town, a lot of you guys were requesting to do a DIY of Red Velvet's blue dress costumes from their music video called Rookie. Yes, so we decided to create one of the blue two-piece dress that Sugi wore. And for this project, you will need five yards of blue cotton fabric and half a yard of white cotton fabric and one and a half yard of lace ruffles and one invisible zipper. And yes, we did watch um, EXO's new music video called Coco Bob and we're definitely coming up with a DIY kit closet for that so make sure to stay tuned. And you guys know the drill, the final epic lookbook will be at the end of the video so make sure to stick around with us to the end and let's get this video started! First, trace the front and back of your favorite t-shirt and preferably prepare a t-shirt with neck that fits closely around your neck. Retrace the front and back body so that they are individual pattern pieces. Let's work with the front bodies first. First, move 5 inch down from the center front neck and draw a horizontal line across the bodies. Second, move 4 inch to the right starting from the 5 inch mark that you just made at the center front and this time draw a vertical line down the bodies. Lastly, cut the pieces according to the lines that you just drew and once you're done, you'll end up with three front bodies patterns which are center front panel, front armhole panel, and front bottom. Next, grab a center front panel and move half an inch to the right starting from the center front neckline and similar to the dotted line shown on the screen, create a slightly curved U shape for the center front line. Then cut off along the curved line that you just drew and now you have a new center front panel. Now grab your front armhole panel and mark half an inch down at the side seam starting from the tip end of the armhole and then draw a slightly curved armhole shape that blends with the original armhole. Once you're done, cut along the line you just drew and now you have a new front armhole panel. Draw seam allowances accordingly and cut to unfold for the center front panel, two for front armhole panel, and one unfold for the front bottom. Similar to what we have done for the front bodies, grab your back bodies and first move five and three quarter inch down from the center front neck and draw a horizontal line across the bodies. Second, move four inch to the left starting from the five and three quarter inch mark that you just made at the center back and this time draw a vertical line down the bodies. Lastly, cut the pieces according to the lines that you just drew and once you're done, you'll end up with three back bodies patterns which are center back panel, back armhole panel, and back bottom. Now grab your back armhole panel and mark half inch down at the side seam starting from the tip end of the armhole and then draw a slightly curved armhole shape that blends with the original armhole. Once you're done, cut along the lines you just drew and now you have a new back armhole panel. Draw seam allowance accordingly and cut two unfold for the center back panel, two for back armhole panel, and one unfold for the back bottom. Grab the center front and center back panel and measure both necklines. Let's call the center front neckline a heart and center back neckline a star. Next, we're going to create a mandarin collar. To do so, draw a perpendicular line with width that is equivalent to 1 inch, which represents the center back, and length that is equivalent to star plus heart measurement. Then, at the right end, go up half an inch that is perpendicular to the base. Once you're done, draw a slightly curved line starting from the shoulder notch, and then draw the blue line that is parallel to the red line and 1 inch apart. Last but not least, create a slightly curved edge at the top right corner and your mandarin color pattern is finished. Add quarter inch seam allowances and cut to unfold. Finally, create a neck ribbon tie by drawing a rectangle with 2 inch width and 27 inch length dimension and cut to. Now let's create the skirt pattern. First, draw a rectangle with length that is equivalent to 16 inch and a width that is equivalent to waist circumference divided by 4. Then draw 3 vertical lines similar to what you see on the screen and cut the line so that you end up with 4 individual rectangles. Once you're done, spread each pieces until you reach approximately 31 inch in width and then connect the gap in the hem. From the top center front, which is top left corner, mark 3 inch down and divide the skirt into top skirt and bottom skirt. Next, for the top skirt pattern, draw 4 lines similar to what you see on the screen and then cut along the lines creating 5 individual pieces. Then separate each pieces 3 quarter inch apart. Once you're done, connect the gap creating a full complete top skirt pattern. Create 1 extra copies of the top skirt pattern and add seam allowances accordingly and cut 2 for the back top skirt and 1 unfold for the front top skirt. For the bottom skirt, draw 5 lines similar 
similar to what you see on the screen and then cut along the lines creating six individual pieces. Then separate each pieces one and a half inch apart. Once you're done, connect all the gaps creating a full complete bottom skirt pattern. Draw seam allowances accordingly and cut four where two pieces will represent the back bottom skirt and another two pieces will represent the front bottom skirt. To create the front waistband for the skirt, draw a rectangle with width that is equivalent to one and quarter inch and length that is equivalent to waist circumference divided by two. For the back waistband, draw a rectangle with width that is equivalent to one and quarter inch and length that is equivalent to waist circumference divided by four. Add half inch seam allowances all around and cut one for the front waistband and two for the back waistband. Lastly, we're going to create the waist ribbon for the skirt and to do so, draw a rectangle with 2.5 inch width and 39 inch length dimension. Then cut two. Grab the center front and center back panel and sew the shoulder seams together in half an inch. Next, grab the mandarin collar and sew the style lines together in quarter inch. For the neck ribbon tie, fold them in half and lengthwise and shut it closed in quarter inch. By now, you should have two center front and center back panel connected together, one mandarin collar and two neck ribbon tie. Pin the mandarin collar neckline to the body's neckline and then pin each end of the ribbon necktie where the mandarin collar starts and ends. Then sandwich the other center front and center back panel on top of the entire thing and sew everything together in quarter inch seam allowances including the neckline and the center V neckline. Turn inside out and you should end up with something that looks like this. Now grab the front and back armhole panel and sew the shoulder seams together in half an inch. Then sew the front and back armhole panel and center front and center back panel together in half an inch. Next, connect the front bottom and back bottom pieces to the top bodies in half an inch. Then sew the front and back side seams together in half an inch. Finish the hem by clean finishing the raw edges and fold it in one inch and stitch them in place. For the armhole, clean finish the raw edges and fold it in a quarter inch and stitch them in place. Now grab the lace ruffles and place them on top of the rectangular line where the white and blue colors meet together. When you reach the corner, you might have to fold the laces in order to create a smooth curve shape. Once the laces are positioned correctly, secure them in place. The lace should go all around from front to back bodies in one continuous line. Then prepare 1 inch thick ribbon and fold each side in quarter inch and place them on top of where the lace ruffles have been stitched in place onto the bodies. We're essentially doing this to hide the ugly stitches made to secure the lace ruffles onto the bodies. For the corners, simply lay the ribbons together with correct sides facing together and sew them diagonally creating a triangular shape. When you open the ribbons, you will achieve such rectangular shape. Then stitch them all around the lace raw edges. Moving on to the skirt for the front and back top skirt, sew the side seams together in half an inch. Similarly, for the front and back bottom skirt, sew the side seams together in half an inch. Next, grab the waist ribbon tie and fold them in half and secure them in half an inch, and then turn them inside out. For the waistband lining, you simply need to sew the side seams of the front and back waistband together in half an inch. However, for the remaining waistband, you need to sandwich the waist ribbon tie between the front and back waistband side seam before stitching them in place in half an inch. Once finished, you should end up with something that looks like this. Next, grab a needle and a thread and baste stitch the top and bottom skirt similar to what you see on the screen. Then connect the bottom skirt to the top skirt and top skirt to the waistband in half an inch and the final width of the skirt when connecting top and bottom skirt together depends on your preference. Next, sew the invisible zipper at the center back in half an inch. Once you're done, attach the waistband lining to the waistband in half an inch. Then fold the raw edges of the waistband lining in half an inch and fold the entire waistband lining to the wrong side of the skirt and secure it in place by stitching in the ditch at the correct side of the waistband. For the hem, clean finish the raw edges and stitch it in place in one inch. Then you're finished.
hope you guys enjoyed this DIY K-pop closet. And if you guys have any other suggestion for our next episode other than EXO, make sure to leave it in the comment section below. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye bye.